So we've been seeing that since you've become the new MLA of the 14th Dialogue on Assembly Constituency, you are very actively uh, visiting different sites where developments are needed. And also your most recent visit was at the Gunto checkpoint regarding the issue of inner line funding. So about after checking it and after inspecting it, uh, how do you plan to improve the efficiency and accountability of the police at these checkpoints? Okay, thank you very much, the space news. Actually, yesterday we had a coordination meeting of district administration and the police of 14 Dremu constituency. And in that meeting, CEO Gumto had pointed out a very good point. He said that the inner line permit could be issued from the gate itself so that the people who are coming from outside does not face any problem and the government also gets the revenue because there's a lot of uh, people visiting Arunachal uh, non apst for various reasons so for that i had assured on in the meeting itself that uh, next day we'll visit gumto and look for a place and construct a place for uh, uh, building for keeping this ilp provision from that place itself so accordingly, this morning I went to Bumto with the circle officer and local public and one of the local landowner, Mr. Navun Vijay, he was very generous to donate a plot of land where he agreed that uh, the uh, a small room for IPL issuance counter will be built there. So with this, uh, uh, the people coming from outside, they will be highly benefited and the government can also earn a good revenue. And so since you've already mentioned right now that uh, you are also involving the local community, especially our local landowner for the ILP counter. So, sir, are there any technical solutions that are being considered to aid in the ILP verification process, like online service, something mm. like that? The government has introduced online service. Like you can avail ILP from anywhere in the country. But then, even we are thinking of uh, setting up a uh, it won't be on a manual basis, but it will be electronically based in a later stage so that the people come there with the iCard and on the spot they will get uh, iCard online and that uh, whatever entry is made at Gumto Gate that will be reflected in the DC office or with the SP office. So that mm -hmm. type of apps we are talking with some experts. Okay, and sir, uh, since we are talking about inner, inner line permits and Gumto is a check uh, checkpoints but it is not the only checkpoint Bandadeva is also an entry point to Arunachal Pradesh and it also comes under 14 Dharma constituency so sir what are your plans for yeah this? exactly you have asked a very you have pointed out a very pertinent point for that matter the entry point of Itanagar the capital state is with 14 Dharma constituency Bumto gate Kimin gate sorry this uh, Bandadeva gate even Holongi gate so these three gates should be monitored very nicely so that the people from outside doesn't face any kind of problem due to inner line issue. So that way, if we, we are starting with the Gumto gate and if it functions nicely and if it is successful and I, I hope so, it will be successful only, then we'll proceed to Bandadeva and uh, Holongi also. And I am told and I have seen in Holongi gate also, the inner line permit issued from nearby uh, office in the gate itself. So that also, if it is manual, then we'll try to do it electronically so that there is no any distinct uh, leakage of revenue. Okay, and so whenever a new thing is or a new policy is about to be implemented, you often face many challenges. So do you think there will be any specific challenges while trying to implement this new system? Of I think uh, there will be much challenge because uh, this, is, this problem is faced by many people especially for people like us, us also when a friend comes from outside and uh, stuck up in a gate they, they call us that uh, we forgot to get ilp please tell the police so we feel awkward at times to tell the police that let him enter let him or her enter or not without pass so this will be a solution on the spot so i think everybody should welcome this and this should be successful okay and sir so uh one of the uh, one of the most prominent reasons why many people are uh, able to enter Arunachal Pradesh without ILP is also the police personnel who are posted there. 
in a checkpoint. So do you think it is safe to say that the police are doing work as well? No, no, no. Police are doing their duty because uh, the inner line permit is issued from the administrative officers. So the circle officers or the DC officers situated in different place. So at times many people in case of any emergency or for that matter lack of knowledge. So many known as APST or many people from out of our nature, they come in, come to the gate point. And after reaching gate point, they don't feel like going back. So now that's why we are like uh, making a on the spot ILP issue. So if you come without the ILP, then police will definitely stop you like that. No, but some, uh, sir, we have seen that sometimes when <clears throat> there is surprise checking by the administration or any other uh, our news colleagues, then they have found that uh, sometimes they are let go without a proper ILP. So that might be there, it might be some stray incident like that, but uh, I will request the police personnel that no one without ILP should be allowed to enter our natural uh, without proper documentation because uh, you never know who is entering. So we cannot stop anyone to enter, but as per the act, as per the rule, prevailing rule, uh, everybody non APC should be allowed to enter only with ILP. So it's our moral obligation or duty to provide facility in the nearest possible place. So we have chosen the police check gate. I think uh, here on, I have given them the time till September to construct the uh, this building. After that, it should be very smooth.